kicking off the UFC Vegas 51 card. We got Alatang A. Lee and Kevin Kroom. What I love about this one is the violence, guys. Like, let's be real. Kevin Kroom is probably one of the better first-round fighters there is. I think that his volume and excitement is is one of the better fighters you'll see at this level of MMA. Uh, he's fearless. He pushes in forward. You even look at the overturned fight against, uh, I think it's Roosevelt. He got an unbelievable standing, uh, I think it was a standing uh, guillotine there that he was able to lock up. And that was in the middle of huge action, overturned, I believe it was weed smoking related. Um, but other than that, you know, unfortunately he's on a skid uh, 0-3. But, you know, the Aleteng Hey Lee fights are where I actually want to spend a bit more time. I really like what we see from him. You talk about the quality of opponent, that's really there. Uh, but the volume for both these guys in the first round is going to be absolutely insane. But where does Kroom have the biggest issue? Cardio. Alatang Ailey, not so much, right? Ailey, if you think about the fights that we've seen him in, he's 2-1-1 one one in the UFC. And he drew with Gustavo Lopez only because he did grab the fence in the third round and lost the point. If he did not lose that point, chances are he would have won that fight 29-28 as he was losing that third round, primarily due to the wrestling. Then you look at the fight with Casey Kenny, which is technically his only UFC loss. I mean, not only was that the first time he faced a southpaw at this level, but it was Casey Kenny. So not only was he eating stupid amount of volume, but Kenny throws with power and such, you know, like I said, volume. And, and you can see the body strikes, the damage that was done was massive. What you got to love about A. Lee in that fight was not only did he not slow down, he kept pushing forward. The durability is there. The cardio is there. And by George is the chin there as well. So defensively, I just got to give A. Lee a massive, massive advantage here. I just think that Kroom has proven to be a marginally decreasing fighter over three rounds. And it, it's nothing against him. It's just, you know, the style of fighting that he's accustomed to. It's just if you don't have the cardio or, or the durability for it, it will get harder to perform at that level. And I think if he slowed it down a little bit in the first round, managed his cardio a bit better, picked his shots a bit more, he would be able to kind of sustain that longer. And I mean, if you are looking for first round finishes consistently, I mean, that's where you tend to lose a lot of that energy. But again... I really like what we see from Alatang because, you know, even in those four UFC fights, think about what we get out of him. You know, he's already beaten um, Bat Jarrell. That was a great... Uh, Bat Gary was, a, was an incredible win for him, right? When you think about just the fact that he was able to not only do that in a debut, but he followed that up really well against uh, Ryan Benoit in a close split decision. So I look at those two wins going into a Casey Kenny loss and a Gustavo Lopez draw as a huge quantity over, or sorry, quality over quantity type of thing. And then you look at this fight. What are the areas that Alatang should be really, you know, well versed in? You think about the fact that he's now training at fight ready. He's going to have the wrestling base down. He actually looked pretty good in the idea of like takedowns and trying to avoid it as much as possible in previous fights. But. In this fight, I really think he has an opportunity to look like a mixed martial artist. I think he's going to be able to deal with that first round volume pretty well. And then he's going to be able to do his own damage. He's going to push forward. If he looks for those takedowns early on and kind of nullifies that Kevin Kroom, um, you know, barrage to start a fight, I mean, I feel like it's going to be his fight to lose because not only are you going to get Kroom tired from all the grappling and just avoiding all of his big strikes early on, but then you can start to have your way with him later in the fight. In reverse, I mean, for Kroom, I really think that it comes down to managing that cardio. I think that he has the volume and the skill to, to take on most fighters at this level. But the problem with him is as he gets tired, the striking gets sloppy. His movement gets a bit sloppy. And so all of those things add up to a guy that looks susceptible to, you know, a decision loss, maybe a late, um, you know, finish on the ground, things like that. So... I'm leaning out Latang in this fight. I think he deserves to be a favorite. I think a line of about minus 170 when it comes to guessing the line makes the most sense here. Uh, I, I just, I really think the chin and durability for Latang is going to be the difference, and he's going to mix it up really well. Over 70% takedown defense should help as well. So let's take a look at the live lines and the opening line since uh, we're, you know, getting up there pretty early. It is opening fight... Bear with me here. Kevin Kroom and Eliela Tang. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your boy starting off the night very well. 175 opening line for Alatang. We guessed minus 170. He's a minus 175. Now hitting about a minus 190 across the board. You might be able to find him with that one at minus 185. Kroom, plus 150 dog. Still around that range, getting close to that plus 160. I think that Alatang is a solid uh, parlay piece right now, and there's a good chance that that line moves past the minus 200 range. Given what we can see right now on tape, it just makes a lot of sense for him to be able to nullify that first round from Kroom and then start to kind of find his game over the course of three rounds. And I just think a Kenny three-round battle plus fight-ready training camp, it really does make for a guy who should look like he's ready for the next level. So stay tuned for that one. I think it's going to be hella fun to open the card for UFC Vegas 51.